Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Throne Breaker: The Witcher Tales. We're at the Lydia City outskirts. We just hung ourselves an elven traitor. Oh, where's the camera going? The camera's moving up. Let's check the marker, and uh, we're heading towards the city gates. Look at that! Looking very, very nicely. Moving up to the city All itself. Last, your grace. Mm -hmm. We shall not enjoy it long, I fear. Soon we must face the black clads in the field. Yet a moment's peace we will have. After that drubbing you gave them at Dravagrad, they'll wish to rethink their strategy. I think they will. I'm just gonna check out my letters, because it seems like we have another report. Scoyatel propaganda. Elves, dwarves, gnomes, halflings. The end of the old order is nigh. The oppressive regimes of the north, the plunderers of our lands, rapists of our folk, shall fall to the Nilfgaardian onslaught, and we can assist this downfall. We must assist it, each and every one of us. Those able to wield a weapon, join us in the woods, seek out a Scoyatel commando. Those too young, too old, too crippled, fight however you can, with poison, dagger, lies. Cowards who stand idle shall be tried after the war as traitors to the elder races. So that village was probably even in the right to uh, get rid of that elven uh, scoundrel that we just hung outside. Because he did a lot more damage in our army than he did in that village. So let's talk to the gates. So you are approaching an important moment in your journey. If you choose to continue, you will not be able to resume any unfinished activity in this area. Apparently we missed one golden chest. I'm gonna check out that golden chest. Give me a second. So I've used my scouts to just clear out the rest of the resources on the map. But I'm pretty sure the, the treasure chest I'm missing is unlocked by not killing that bandit that tries to blackmail me with the treasure map that I hung before. So I'm guessing that's the final treasure chest I'm missing. So let's just continue through the end of this section because apparently this game is separated into sections. Neve had ridden out of Lyria in early spring, her retinue modest, as none larger was needed for the brief summit of sovereigns. She returned now to her capital at the head of an army that dragged behind it bandits and Nilfgaardian prisoners in chains. The whole city came out to greet her. It's traders, craftsfolk, priests. Also, her eldest son and heir, Prince Willem. A boy who, it seemed, might never be prepared to rule. That is a very sad sentiment. Meave and Willem rode side by side past the cheering throngs. Their faces frozen in regal smiles. It was not until they reached the castle stables that they found a corner in which to speak freely, candidly. Welcome home, mother. Content I am to see you, to be sure. Okay, he indeed looks rather young. And I'm happy to see you. Though I dare say I'd have been much happier to witness you leading an army towards Dravagrad. Oh, and there's a blushing Villain. going on. I trusted you. Left the realm in your care. So wait, Meave gets a lion as a signal, Reynard got a stag, if I'm not mistaken, Indeed. and Willem is a, in turn did my a weasel? The best course for a ferret? Something like that? Willem, don't be so damned courtly, there's no one else here. My son, Nilfgaard has invaded our home. We're at war. When rulers don't strive and don't choose, when rulers grab their swords and shields and ride out to defend their subjects. You didn't let me finish. Indeed. Um, very well then, son. Say your right. piece. Say what you wanted to, please. I fear to be hasty, mother, and I didn't want to be. When we got word of the invasion, the lords convened at the castle. They demanded I hear them out. They wanted to give me counsel. If I'd rushed into the field to confront the foe, I'd, I'd have been half blind to the situation, not known all the options I had at my disposal. A ruler never knows all the options. Yet he must decide and act nonetheless. I need to prepare. I'll see you at the Council of Peers. And indeed she did, when the Peers convened in the throne room. 
Surrounded by animal hides and Zeracanian tapestries, the Lord stood in tense silence, awaiting the Queen. When her figure filled the doorway, they fawningly prostrated themselves. We've myriad matters to resolve, so I trust you're well rested. Whatever the case, I've no doubt we shall meet the dawn afore we're done. Firstly, we must ask assistance. Pen a letter to King Demavend. Scribe, take this down. Dear... What? Uncle? Cousin? Blast. Again. I, Meave, by the God's grace, Sovereign of Rivia and... Your grace? Mother. The peers and I, we've come to propose another solution. Okay. I feel like Willem has been influenced by the lords, including Lord Caldwell. Yes. Out with it. We wish to acknowledge Nilfgaard's authority. Who is a boar, apparently? To the Emperor. Wait, what? I beg your pardon. The black-clad hordes outnumber our forces manyfold, and they're far better equipped. We stand not the slightest chance against them in open. You will not lecture me about Nilfgaard's army, my son. All you know of them you garnered from coloured renderings, whereas I faced them at Dravagrad. I faced them and crushed them! And Caldwell knows this. I know he's afraid, Your but... Your Grace, the losses! For this fleeting victory in which you delight, how many of your subjects had to perish? Bend a knee afore the Emperor, and you shall spare thousands! Nay, never! Understood, Caldwell, not ever! I'd hope to persuade you. Well, that took a turn. Have failed. Nonetheless, the die's been cast. We've signed the accord with Nilfgaard. Our noble lord, stand with me. Oh wow, he already did it. Left Meave's face. She had realized her son, who had ever professed to detest politics and shirked his duties as crown prince, had just stabbed her in the back. As had her entire court. What is this? Treason to my eyes! The gallows is what awaits you! Willem rules Lyria now. And should you not acquiesce and approve the accord, I fear only you, milady, shall have the pleasure to meet the hangman. And Caldwell turned Don't get turncoat. Don't yourself, Caldwell. My mother will not be harmed. Not one hair on her head. Understood? Confine the queen to the tower. You err deeply, my son. The queen was confined to a cell. Gilded armor she had traded for a simple robe, a courtly retinue for a swarm of rats. She was the very picture of misery. At the window of her cell, gripping the bars, Meave stood powerless, her anger so great she wept and wailed. Her Lyria was free no more. Damn. That just took a turn. All our glorious fighting for nothing. Um, sadly, the plot twist with Caldwell did not come entirely as a surprise. Because um, Gwent kind of spoils it a bit. Because the, the effect of Lord Caldwell, the card Lord Caldwell in Gwent, is that he has a very high base power for Gwent. He has 10 base power. And he always moves to the side of the board with the highest unit. <laughs> so... He's literally a traitor card. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that kind of spoiled that he was going to betray us one way or another in this game. But uh, moving on. And we lose the Wagenberg. We lose the Rivian Pikeman, the War Wagon, Arbalast, the Regiment Rebels, Field the Medic, uh, everything. Oh, look at their new outfit and facial expression. Wow. Demons take you, Caldwell. You've long been at this scheme, haven't you? You left the strays of Sparla to roam the realm, to forage, so that I would have to look to them. And thus gained your cohorts the time they needed to complete Lyria's sail to Nilfgaard. You've seen through it all, that's clear. After the fact, of course, but still. <laughs> Villain. You turned him. How? The boy's not fit to wear the crown. Hasn't sufficient wit, nor valor. I know this. You know this. Just... He knows it not. Willem fancied himself a statesman. Wished terribly to prove he was one. I made it possible. I've been amply rewarded, I have. 
Palatine since just yesterday, in fact. You'll have neither my blessing nor congratulations. Sorry to disappoint you. I seek neither. I've come for another reason. To bid you adieu. Willem does not seek your death. Does not even fathom it, as you well know. Moreover, his resolve will wilt in time, and he'll wish to free you. So, come the morn, when the young king rides out to pledge fealty for General Epdahi, you shall use your bed linens to hang yourself. Okay. Uh, probably if we don't, then they will kill Willem. Go plow yourself, Caldwell. Ha! <laughs> Um, oh, damn. Here we go with the decisions again. I hate decisions like this. Um, let's try and talk him out of this. I don't think he will. Go plow yourself, Caldwell. I, th I think, I think I'm gonna have a, yeah, go plow yourself, Caldwell. <laughs> I see. You wish to see me bow before you, lie prostrate, beg you for mercy, plow yourself with a pike, Caldwell. Ooh, with a bike. You needn't send your thugs. I'll not falter nor hesitate. I'll take my own life. Adieu, Wait, your grace. We will? No, we won't. And use your last evening wisely. Me felt a rush of despair, yet bit her lip to mute any weeping. No, she would not give Caldwell the satisfaction. Ah, there we go. Morning arrived with the sound of footsteps in the corridor. Neve rose from her cot and stood in the center of her cell. She was prepared for anything. Well, nearly anything. The, the Duke of Dogs. Yep, there we go. I suspected he's gonna have. Uh, he was gonna have a more. Uh, yeah, outspoken role in all of this. Titles seem senseless under the circumstances, don't you think? Let's forgo them. I'm Gascon. Has Caldwell sent you to kill me? No, and oh, and there no. goes Gascon's music. Actually, you're free. I love this game. How shall I put this? That cad, Count Caldwell, used yours truly and the strays as bait in a scheme aimed at kicking your shapely backside off your throne. Now, I'm hardly vindictive. First to forgive, in fact. Take your threat to send me to the gallows. Forgotten already. Yet being played for a fool, I cannot abide. So when the strays freed me, I knew what I'd do to spite the Count before I disappeared. I'd free you. That's to say, on one condition. Okay, let's hear You've it. You've got to request it of me, my lady. Courteously. <laughs> ah, okay, fair enough, Gascon. For my realm, I will do this, and much, much more. Even bow for a brigand. Thus I beg you. Gascon, Duke of Dogs, grant me my freedom. Ha! Incredible! I've lived to see someone grovel with dignity. A true ruler you've got to be. You are free. And grateful. And so we are. Now please let me pass. I must get to the city jail at once. Look at that awesome outfit. I mean, her golden armor was of course the best, but this also looks very badass. Look at this woman. Free her from one prison, she flies off to the next. They hold Reynard there. And if I've any ally left, anyone who's not betrayed me, it's him. I must get him out. Hold, my lady. Unarmed. Alone. Have I any other option? Hmm. In a sense. See, they locked a few strays in the city pits, too. Got a common cause, I'd say. Care to join forces? Ooh, interesting. The Queen took Gascon up on his offer. Then she, Gascon, and the strays snuck through the city to its dungeon. Reynard had not wavered for a moment in his devotion to the Queen. Never the slouch, he had also not lost any time. I've inquired among the other arrested soldiers. Many are prepared to fight, even die at your side, Your Grace. Seems they may yet get their chance. But now we must flee, all of us. Yet in leaving the jail, the company ran into trouble. When Caldwell's cutthroats had failed to find Meave in her cell waiting for her secret execution, they had informed the Count. He, in turn, dispatched patrols into the streets. 
The Queen and her cohorts ran into one such unit. At last. We shan't help them though. Two arms! Here we go. So, fresh deck, which this is gonna be awesome. And thus Lyrian stood against Lyrian. At first, me fought only to stun, to wound, not to kill. Yet she quickly realized the soldiers opposite her held no such reservations. These men, who had saluted her but a few days before and whose faces she knew well, would pull no punches, soften no blows. Meave had no choice but to follow suit. Find an escape route, and once an escape route is found, gain more points than your opponent within three turns. Okay. We need to find an escape route. Well, that's gonna be interesting. How the hell are we gonna do that in a card battle? Gas gone. Oh. Bloody hell, where'd he get to? Is he gone? Your Grace, we must make haste. Coldwell's roused the whole city by now. So three sidemen, which have the same abilities as before, and we have Neve Longsword, which just boosts an ally by four and give it one armor. Choose a dark alley to escape down. Um. So Reynard is the one who can decide that, and he does not have charges, so I can only do this once. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to wait for Gascon to do anything. So let's just put a Lillian sideman down. And boost the bastard. There we go. And end the turn. Sod it. Sod it all. Lyrian Pathfinder, after three turns on turn start, draw the top card from your deck. Nothing's happening, guys. Nothing's happening. Choose a dark alley to escape down. This is gonna be interesting. Let's just put more ah, excitement down. To me, old lady. And end the turn. Okay, and of course we're getting faced by other units, and it's creepy because of course they're constantly getting more units, and we have barely anything. Um, this happens. We'll be reaping black. Oh, whoa! Just you just like that, did you? Okay, Honestly, this is more interesting. I did. Um, so can we choose a dark alley every time then? Oh, wait. Every turn on turn start to one of three at random. Damage a random enemy by two, boost a random ally by two, or move a random enemy to the opposite row. Okay, but how do we get clear of these alleys? You know what? Let's just try it. I need to try this anyway. So let's just go with one. And that is a gate. When this card's timer expires, the city gates will shut down. In that moment, if me has less points, she will lose the battle. But if it stays, if we have more points, we actually get out of here? Did I just guess the correct one left, immediately? Right, yeah. left, right. I think I did. Mark a unit. Every turn on turn start, damage it by one. When the marked unit is destroyed, mark another enemy. Or set the row on fire. Obviously set the row on fire. There Watch we go. Your heads. <laughs> And burn those guys. And I can actually choose a dark alley every time. But this is the gate, right? We can escape this. Let's boost another Lyrian Sightman. And end the turn. Aha! And our Tusa Adapt. <sighs> choose a bronze yeah, alley, ally in your rooms. hand. And I own the battlefield. Not two copies of it to your deck. Okay. What guarantee do we have that they won't stab us in the back? Uh, we don't. We really don't. So, uh, we're gonna have to just live with that. Um... Can I do anything? Damage unit by five, it's on a row with fire. Damage all units on it by five. Well, that's one hell of a Not Hail Mary. Wish. Boop. There we go. Does this end it? Yeah, there we go, we got out of the gate. I was really lucky the first uh, <laughs> dark alley that I chose was the correct one. Oop, that's I the gates you again. Gascon. You and your men, for your aid. Tis now, my lady. Strays never say no to a proper brawl. No brawl this was. Sun rising against mother. Lyrian striking at Lyrian. I fear a blood war's begun. Come now. Seems to me the war's ended. 
Your realm's lost to Nilfgaard. You've no army to speak of. Then I shall assemble a new one. And with it have Caldwell hanged and drive Nilfgaard back across the Yoruga. <laughs> You're mad! How will you find the men? Riding from hamlet to hamlet, speaking from atop a crate? No. I shall find them in Edurn. I have a favour to call in with King Demavend, and I'll sway volunteers to my cause on the way. Oh yes, we're going through all the Northern Realms. Well, you've your first willing warriors already. How so? We've nothing left in Lyria. Our hideouts are compromised, Caldwell's sure to set a price on our heads, and Nilfgaardians roam the land in numbers. Besides, I'll be right tickled to see proud Queen Me fighting elbow to elbow with a bandit she'd wish to hang just a half day afore. Well, it is said my foe's foe is my friend, and I'd be a fool to turn down assistance now, no matter who offers. So be it. There we go, Gascon added to our army. Straight slingers as well, bombers, infiltrators, cavalry, alchemists, Very high -minded and there we lady. go. So, shall we shake on? Nay? Well then, the high road beckons. Though first we must escape the city with our lives. Follow me. I think we didn't lose Ake as well, so I think he's still with us. Lyria was hers no more. Meave now had to flee her capital and realm as quickly as she could. Woke to travel the city streets in a gilded carriage, the Queen now saw them from a slightly different vantage point. Ugh. Is this the only way? Are you quite certain? The Queen is a common fugitive now, so she'd do better to pinch her nose and whinge not at all. At long last, Meave reached the gate. Yet this she found shut tight. Locked and guarded. Gods be damned! Easy, Your Grace. Nothing we can't solve with a quiver full of quarrels. Those are our men. They were, Raynard, were. Gascon's raiders were poised to loose their bolts, but were thwarted when the Queen stepped out in front of them. What she? She's she crazy. I I've orders to arrest you, Grace. Place me in irons, then. Please understand, I, I haven't a choice. Fear not. You'll be rewarded by Coldwell in Nilfgaardian Florence. The captain's head dropped. His cheeks burned crimson. Go, your grace. Flee now, but only to return. Remember this, Gascon. I'm no fugitive. I'm a queen robbed of a rightful crown. And though I may need to venture to the world's end before I return, I shall have it back. Look at Raynard's smirk in the background. There we go. Never give up, never give in, probably. I'm just assuming here, but that's usually the phrase. Having fled Lyria, Queen Me ventured into Edir, her old friend Raynard and new ally Gascon at her side. The war had bitten into this land too. Still, Meave hoped to sway King Demavent to her cause and, with his aid, to oust the traitors, retake her throne and drive the Nilfgaardian invader from her realm. Yet to start, she was forced to fight, Scoia'tael no less. Emerging from a wood, Meave's retinue encountered a unit of elven rebels just moments from hanging a handful of prisoners. Among the latter, the Queen spotted a woman, a proud warrior with a striking, thick black braid. The lass I believe I know. Well, unless we rush to her rescue, it'll soon be you knew her. Well said. Lyrians, attack! And there we go, immediately back into battle. No pauses now. It was Meave's first clash with the Squiatel, warriors who bled for the non-human cause. The name translates to squirrels in the common tongue, a reference to the ruddy tails fastened to their caps and helms. The ornament had become a hallmark for the partisans, much like the icy cruelty to which they subjected their human prisoners. Eliminate the Squiatel executioners and do not let Black Rayla die. So uh, Black Rayla is also a character from the books, she's uh, a mercenary leader 
And a fearsome warrior at that, so uh, I would love to have her in our ranks. Ooh, set the unit's power equal to the unit on its left. I have no idea what all of this is going to do. I don't have a lot of things left, so... Let's just go with what we have, because I have no idea what's still in our army at the moment. Although we could go... I'll take care of a few of these. Boost out the power of the unit on the right and move to the opposite opponent's side. Sightman. An egg, of course, egg. Let's just finish off with egg. There we go. Hang the butcher! Veloa! She can't breathe, your grace. We must rush to our aid. So if this unit is alone on its row on turn start, move it to Meave's side. And both of the executioners are four turns away of killing Black Ryla. Okay. If I set a row on fire, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be in trouble. Ooh, I don't really have anything to work with that, but... Let's just mark our first unit. Mark one of the executioners. And then move a card in your deck to the top and strengthen it by three, then trigger all allies' loyal abilities. Whew. I have nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, end turn. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. I don't think I can actually save her. Unless I maybe set the row on fire? I smell a leak. So let's do that. That should pile up the damage as well. That's six as well. And down okay, my units go. Free the warrior. So that one is almost down. But I have absolutely nothing to deal with the rest of that. Um, I do mark... Wait, if I use the Lyrian Horn... I get two damage on those. That guy dies and then I mark something else. Sadly, not the correct one. Okay, the only thing I need to do... Is three more damage on this guy. But I'm pretty much out of everything. So it did take two damage. And I think two units actually take no damage when that happens. On us. The elves, scatter them. They block our path. So I'm gonna assume that the fire you will take care of everything more, there. And I'm just gonna end the turn. Oh no, Too they killed late. it. So with two cavalry, we should be able to do this. I do wanna get. Um, one of those row fiery dudes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we do have a lot less control with this deck. So we're done Hang redrawing. Let's try this again. So, first things first, do set the row on fire. You mad? Don't shake that. There we go. And end the turn. The fire apparently didn't do a single thing. What does fire actually do? There's a 33% chance of damaging all... Oh, so it's by chance. Great. Um, that means I should just yeah, mark yeah. the next guy. And end the turn. So that's yeah, two damage. That's at least something. So if I now mark the other one. And end the turn. I should be able to... Oh, we didn't get fire this time. We I shall did not, not fail. get fire this time. And we lost our mark. Scatter them. They block our path. So I can use the Lydian Horn and hope that that's enough. Nope. So setting the row on fire is just a gamble at this point, so I am actually gonna force their hand a bit more now. Um, I can damage those executioners 
by uh, using the slingers. So if I do this, they, are, they, they don't actually start. move. Alone on its road. That's also an interesting way of putting this, but let's just do this. They're immobile, so they won't move. And then end the turn. There goes one of them. And I should be able to mark the last one to kill it. So even free from the fire, we can actually destroy this guy. So let's uh, end the turn. Unless, of course, the marker dies. Now we will see who is weak. Okay. Scatter them. They block our path. So let's use the commander's horn then. The only thing I could have done. There we go. She's not alone on her road, though. So let's just use the stray's cavalry. No, we can't. I shall not fail! The chase is on! So let's mark her. We got a job to do. There we go. We're really lucky with the fire at the moment. Uh, units power equal to the units on its left. So let's just put Ake in the, the middle. Shall be punished. And use me Warhammer again. And the turn. And then we get Rayla. I think. These units are alone on scale on turn start. Move. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's just get Gaskell on there. Stinks, no and the turn. The we get Rayla. <laughs> and there we go. That's actually victory. Ooh, that was close. That was close. The Scoyatel warriors shocked the queen with their speed, their cunning, and their cruelty. Yet in the end, the Lyrians prevailed. When the last elf hit the ground, the Queen had her men untie those they'd sought to hang. A thousand thanks, Your Grace. Her many tales of your valor. Pleased to see there weren't just flattery and propaganda. I'm... Black Rayla. Hager, we saw you there. You command King Demaven's special forces. That's right. Though not many remain to command. So I see. How did it come to this? My liege sent me to wipe out a Scoyatel band, led by a rat called Eldane. Followed the vermin's tracks for several days, straight into his trap, turned out. Hunting elves in the woods. Truly inspired, I must say. Had no choice. Doing nothing would have brought a surer, swifter doom. The Black Clad have invaded Edurn, thanks to elven aid. They snap our supply lines, lurk like dogs, prey on vulnerable units and scouts. You mean to say Nilfgaard's broken your defenses? Aye. Though their march will soon halt, believe me. To advance, they'll have to take Rosberg, a stronghold that's yet to fall once. They'll break against its walls like waves upon the rocks. I'm glad Edirn still defends the north. I think we should stay happy, right? They'll have to take Rosberg, a stronghold that's yet to fall once. They'll break against its walls like waves upon the rocks. Let's, yeah, let's just be positive towards Edern. While Edern stands, the North is not yet lost. I'll convey your grace's words to the king at the first occasion. I'd rather hope to convey them myself. I have come to Edern seeking aid. I wish to ask Demavend for support. The king is in Rosberg, overseeing siege preparations. I'm heading that way too to report on our skirmish with the Scoyatel. I might serve as your guide. These lands I know better than any. Sure enough. Rayla, Black Rayla, added Excellent. to our commandant. Great. Another colorful char character added to our roster. I'm going to have to check out our new deck. But I think I'm going to do that at the beginning of the next episode. And look at that. We even changed an outfit over here. So that's great. So next up, we're going to check out our deck. But first, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we'll check out our new little uh, guerrilla army. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.